Well, I came across this RCA Senior Volt Ohmist, and I'm into it. I figured I'd do a little video real quick. Um, now this one happens to be the uh, WV98C model, but um, let me show you where I've gotten so far. And I've, I, it was working fine, except the meter was not on zero. And being familiar with meters, I'm just going to go and uh, zero it out mechanically. Well, well, that. Uh, Stay away from that with these meters. Uh, someone had already been in here and uh, adjusted the zero, and I've uh, seen others painstakingly uh, try to remedy this. This is the Achilles heel of this meter, is, uh, is the meter itself. Go figure. So I adjusted the mechanical, and it just would not adjust. It would go above zero, below zero. You tap it, it would move. It was just in horrible, horrible shape. So what to do? I've seen other people's uh, headaches uh, associated with this meter. Uh, well, I still have one, and I'm not going to get another one. So, I this is this is this falls under the get in and get out uh, method here. I'm in this meter, and I want to get out of it. Um, I myself had pulled on the uh, mechanical adjustment which is connected to that little gold spring there I don't know if you can see that this actually has like two springs in it this is like working on like a, a clock spring or something this is really 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 precise work in here I will show you what I've done so far this this actuator here was all bent and manhandled and, and whatnot and I'm sure I didn't help it any either and when I disconnected the wires from the meter these big hex bolts here uh, like pulling on the, the main spring too so I, I've got it in there pretty good I don't think I went beyond its tensile strength or any of that it, it looks pretty straight in there so uh, what I have here is I have the power supply and it only takes like 0 0.2 volts or whatever to get this thing to swing and I think I'm in pretty good shape here I can't see where the zero would be on the uh, mechanical side of things I'm just I'm just eyeballing it but the the meter was all over the place it, it was sticking it was and it all relies on that mechanical this mechanical slider here as you move it you can mechanically zero the meter which I I, I, I don't want to do that I'm gonna leave that set and I'm gonna throw this thing back together as quickly as possible And you, you don't have to tear into the whole meter. It does, the face simply comes off with four, four quarter inch screws, and I think uh, five sixteenths the yellow exolite on the uh, connection nut. So let's let's put this meter back together, and see how we do. We want zero, and we want smooth action. Try and give you a close up shot of that meter movement with the springs. There's a spring in the back of the meter that the positive connects to. And that's the gold spring in the front where the negative connects to with that mechanical adjustment attached to the wire. This is really, really critical in here. Let's get this thing back together. So here we are back assembled. I haven't put the face back on, but I'm looking at uh, the two stoppers there, the two white pieces. And my advice to folks on this is don't touch that adjustment. I give a little voltage here. If this works, I'll be happy with it. It goes up to that stop. I don't know where we are on zero. I'm only guessing. But uh, look, it moves on its own. It's so sensitive. You put your hand near it, it will it will move. So I, I moved that adjustment. I started getting it pivots. It pivots on that top piece there so it can scrape and get in all kinds of trouble. But let's put the face back on it. And at least it's not all at least it's not all getting caught and stuck and it was in bad shape. I'll try it a few more times before we uh, throw it back in, but now it's working the way it used to. I don't know if it's on zero and I'm not going to be that critical about the zero adjust. Okay, well I'm a little sticky around the zero adjust. 
I'm going to play with it a little more, see if I can get that in. But again, it's it's this it's that adjuster itself that's the issue. It's scraping. It's going to be scraping on this side over here of this little seat that it sits in. I'm going to just go with a, a, a razor blade or exacto knife and try and get that. Maybe it'll adjust in. I don't know yet. We'll try and get it to mechanical zero, but at least it doesn't get stuck and hung up on different parts of the scale. The movement is is good. It's just down at zero. All right, fussing with this adjustment, like I say, just moving your hand makes it come off zero. I'm not touching this. See, it goes floats back to zero. Just I'm not even doing anything. Up air, breathing. So I'm not touching it at all. It's at zero. So let's see our movement. I'm putting this back in. I'm putting this back together. I am not. I'm not touching this anymore. This thing is that sensitive. Back you go. Okay, this meter still has a problem. It will not go to zero, and it's scraping, and I'm looking, and I'm looking, and right over here, I don't want to point with anything magnetic, but down at the zero in that bronze-looking thing, this, this scratches there. And the winding, as it comes down, I have the meter just held here at the top position. As it comes down to zero, you can see that pitting right there on the uh, on that gold looking piece. I'm going to try to clean that up. You can see the screwdriver marks. I know they're not from me. And then it will go to zero. So the problem isn't the off zero mechanical adjustment. The spring is good. It's getting caught at the bottom there. Okay, I've put the face back on. I'm telling you, this meter this is just too much. I have full swing now. And it goes beyond zero, kind of like how it used to be. Bring the voltage up slowly. Another YouTuber said, yes, there could be metal fragments in there. You have to be careful of that. I'm going to tighten this up and try again. I'll try to adjust zero and get it back together. Okay, one last time. I've adjusted the meter for round zero. It's dancing around zero just with the movement of your hand here. And let's check it for meter action here. There are two stops there and it, it now lands on each one of them. Well, it doesn't land on that one, but it comes pretty darn close. And that neon light up in the corner doesn't help either. We've got to put that back in. And that is just a um, just a split plastic snap. It goes in there like so. And the bulb goes in behind it. It had some glue around it, so it fought me. I may scrape some of the glue away. This meter looks like it was the date code is 1978. Scrape some of that glue off and pop that back in. All right, I assembled the neon light housing in there. I have a good mind to put another piece of tape over that, meaning keep out. And let's check the. Uh, from over here it looks like it's on zero, so it depends where you are. Let's put it in the meter and see how we do. Because it was all messed up before. I know the meter works. The instrument works, I should say. Now here's the back of the meter, and that's where I get the, uh, the date code, I think, of 78. I don't know why. I think it, there was more there, but... Um, well, simply just put it back in the front of the meter here and um, attach the uh, leads. I marked them earlier. 
red and black and uh, we'll just dump this in here they, they give you just enough space to get it past and uh, we'll button it up all right i've gone and labeled the uh Attach connection the on light uh, a quarter inch screws there and uh, there's where I get the date code of 78 I think there was more on there I'll go ahead and put this little snap clip back on for the uh, neon light there like I said there was glue on there but not so worried about that we'll slide the leads through there I've attached the uh, and uh, okay I've gone ahead and I have the plug for the adjustment and my advice is to don't adjust it uh, it simply moves the meter in the positive so I'm on zero I'm close enough I'm gonna turn this thing on I've attached the neon light and uh, it was just no good before let's just go to um, neon light on I don't, I don't see my neon light on Oh, let's turn the power on there. Okay. We are on. There's our ohms. Good, good. And it goes down. Let's see if we can zero it. Let it warm up. We have our probe attached. It's walking down to zero. It was, it was not right when I got it and I didn't help it any by meddling with it so uh, again um, be careful what you get into with these things sometimes they're better left alone Let's see how we can zero this okay. oh it works nice works just how it's supposed to zero let's go over to ohms oh actually let me go to positive DC volts the book says, this is for the uh, discriminator adjustments in FM. It says, see, I couldn't get to the center before. Now I can center the meter. Someday, I hope to uh, do that discriminator null. Okay, so that's working. Back to zero. We'll go to ohms. We'll ohm out here. Come on. Okay, and that's infinity there. We'll touch our leads together here and make sure we're on AC ohms. I'll zero our meter there. I know I don't have the leads clipped, I'm just touching them, so it's good. Let's go back. Okay, and we'll touch the ohms. Uh, I'll do an accuracy check on the ohms, but I think this is this will be good. Going a little too far there. Oh, but it comes back. It does seem to get it recovers okay. All right, well there you have it. The um, senior volt ohmist. I think I will actually before I button it up. I think it's time we can. I'm not messing with that adjustment. Again, we are going to put the, without losing it, we are going to put that in there and stay out of there. So, if you see one of these, don't touch. Don't touch the meter adjustment. I wasn't happy on the ohm scale with that meter action not bouncing back, and I found it to be the uh, meter was actually hitting the plastic case so I just pulled that out just a little bit I may bend that pointer in I don't even want to do that but uh, that's what the issue was with that so we're back a hundred percent here again thanks for watching